Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, let's talk about Photo Raw 2024 Max and using it in a plugin workflow from other photo editors. Uh, the nice thing about Photo Raw 2024 Max is if uh, it works where you work, I guess is the best way to say it. If you're a Lightroom user predominantly, or Photoshop, or Affinity Photo, uh, Capture One, and uh, you like some of the on one tools to augment your editing, you know, that's how I, I operate often. Well, that's what Photo Raw 2024 Max gives you. It gives you everything in Max in plugin form. So you can use Develop and Brilliance AI. You can use Effects, Portrait, Resize, all from one of your other photo editors. Uh, and that's that's the main difference between Photo Raw 2024 and Photo Raw 2024 Max. Max gives you the plugin workflow. I want to show you a couple of those workflows in this video. Uh, we'll uh, do Lightroom and we'll do Photoshop and uh, let's uh, start off in Lightroom. So I am in Lightroom here and I've done my basic edits. You know, if you're using Capture One or Affinity Pro or you know, something, you've done your basic edits and you want to get this into on one for some additional style. You know, for me, dynamic contrast will continue to be part of my workflow. I uh, can't get enough of that filter. So I want to bring this over into on one Photo Raw 2024 Max. Uh, there's a couple of ways I can do that from Lightroom. I can right click on the photo and just say edit in and you'll see those choices. I have develop, I have effects, 24 portrait, resize, sky swap. I have all those things available to me. But I'm gonna encourage you to use the plugin extra workflow. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is you get to tap into the smart uh, photo options within Photo Raw, so you could do a, a bit of re-editing if you had to open up that uh, that file and adjust the on one settings. You can do that, and also I'll show this to you here as well. You can tap into batch processing, and just for the sake of argument, let me come up in here and select a second photo. I'm not going to edit both of these right now, but if I have more than one photo selected, and I go into File. Plugin extras. You can see that I've got the 2024 section here. I can migrate the catalog. I have all of the modules here. I want to go into effects and I get the dialog. It'll ask me, do you want to maintain your Lightroom settings? If you have multiple photos selected, you can either pause on just the first one, apply your edits, and then let On One rifle through all of the other photos and just do the same settings again and again or you can individually edit. Uh, I'm not gonna do either of those. I will cancel out of this in just a moment. But the last option is with the smart photos. I can tap into that in that file format here. And you don't get some of these options when you're just doing a right click edit in. So for our workflow, I will just go back to unselecting that. I have a single photo selected, file, plugin extras, and I will choose Effects 2024. And incidentally, if you don't see these here, check your plugin manager to make sure that Photo Raw 2024 is enabled. I'll choose that, confirm I want my Lightroom settings, confirm Smart Photo, and send that on over into Effects. And then I can add my particular style to it. And uh, you know, for me, that's gonna be you know, a, a couple of effects filters. Uh, I won't go through a full edit on this, but I'm already in the Effects tab. It's landed me over there. And then I can do my things like you know, dynamic contrast. And you, know, you can see uh, before and after. Just, I, I, I love that filter. Do all of my work. I hit the checkbox. It's gonna send it back to my host application and you have all of your edits in that smart photo format. Uh, let's look at another workflow where you're doing this, but you're going from, uh, from Photoshop. So you can see how this works with Photoshop. And in particular, I'm going to focus on smart objects in Photoshop because that gives you some additional re-editability. Photomax is gonna work for you just great here. So let's try this out. So here I am in Photoshop, and we can see by the icon in the layers area, this is a smart object. And what that means is I can go into the filter area and under on one, I'll see my develop 2024 effects, portrait and sky swap. So I have all of these things available as my editing tools. And 
as a smart object, that means when I send this over into effects and I do some changes in effects, well, I can you know do some re-editing later on if I need to go back and tweak something. You know, a lot of times for me, I'll, I'll do a photo and I'll sit with it for a week or so, and then I'll notice something I want to change. And uh, if I'm doing something with Photoshop, being able to use Photo Raw Max as a smart photo plugin or sorry smart object plugin that uh, that really helps and you know so once again I can go in at this point I've landed in effects I'm you know doing whatever I'm doing dynamic contrast and etc um, just for the um, the purposes of illustration let's do something um, a little obvious actually let's just do black and white you know we hit black and white and uh, we'll do we'll do an auto and call that uh, good for demonstration purposes great I'm happy I'm finished with the photo I'll hit the checkbox and this will send me back into Photoshop and I'll have those effects uh, changes available to me uh, beneath the, the the smart object layer you know you'll see that uh, effects option right beneath the layer there so there you go that's a couple of examples of using photo raw 2024 max as a plugin so you get all of the the, the access to all of the different modules that are in Photo Raw 2024. If you have the Max product, you can use that whole thing as like one big monster plugin. But you can you can target each individual module directly and jump right in there. So the workflows are you know, quite smooth. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.